take out a pretend make-believe quarter. If you're a right-handed haircutter, hold up your left hand. Show me a quarter, three fingers up in the air. Take a clipper comb, you put it in there like that with your thumb and forefinger. You tip the handle in and you roll your palm down and you make a fist. This is the proper way to hold a clipper comb for clipper over comb. This allows us to do this. This is called pitch and wiggle, the subtle motion where we alter the angle of the comb relative to the surface of the client's head. This is easy. This is comfortable. This, with our thumb on the back of the comb, is a one-way ticket to an appointment with a carpal tunnel surgeon. This is going to hurt. When we are cutting clipper over comb, and because we, you know, we focus on the barbering end of the business, or at least I do a great deal. When we are cutting clipper over comb, the ability to alter the pitch or the angle of the comb with that hand grip as opposed to this, this is what's called a gross motor movement. The whole wrist and arm is moving. We have two techniques for clipper over comb. We have overhand clipper over comb. That's called overhand because my hand is over. over duck clipper. What do you think we call this one? Underhand. That's called underhand. How do you know which one to use when and where? The memory aid, if you're writing notes, is over comma under slash under comma over. Over comma under slash under comma over. Over under under over. The dividing line is the crest line, the occipital bone, the parietal ridge, or the widest point of the head. If you are cutting clipper over comb under the crest line, you use overhand. Look at my body. My back is straight, my elbows are down, my shoulders are relaxed, and this is a comfortable position for me to work. Under the crest line, overhand. Look what happens when I try to work overhand over the crest line. Elbow up, shoulders twisted, back jacked, ouch. This doesn't work. You want to cut over the crest line, switch to underhand positioning. Look at me now. I'm over the crest line, I'm cutting underhand. My hand is underneath the tool. Look at my body. Back is straight, elbows down, shoulders relaxed, comfortable position. Have you ever had a coworker? Now, you and I wouldn't do this, it's those other people. Have you ever had a coworker that cuts underhand under the crest line? Ah. Where they're doing this? <laughs> I got the <this> right. <laughs> Knees bent, ass sticking out in the aisle, you know, hunched up, scrunched up like this. How long is this going to feel good? No, well, what about this? I do this all day.